Good deeds should just come from the heart. Or to put it another way, to a point, you don't owe anybody anything. And yes, of course, immediate caveats necessary of in many ways you do. You know, society taking care of you, your parents, all of that stuff, all the obvious things aside. When you're just interacting with people, you don't owe them anything. And what I mean by that is that we have a problem with presumption in our society where people just owe you. They need to help you with this, or you need help with this, or someone should take care of it, or why hasn't anyone done anything about X? It, it's a sort of sense of entitlement about a lot of things, and it does show through on personal interactions with people, too, where rather than just, you know, if you don't hold the door open for somebody, rather than just passing it by, people will bitch at you. Or if you don't do something that's considered a minor courtesy, people can get quite upset at you. And depending on the circumstance, they can be right in certain cases. However, don't let people presume that you owe them something just because they're there. Just because you could do something for them does not mean you should or must. And if you want to be altruistic and help people out and all that, great, do it. This is not a condemnation of any of that. What this is a condemnation of is people feeling like they need to help people out and do things for people to be accepted. Because this is, there's, this is an attitude that I've seen come up in people where, well, he didn't do that for this person? Well, what a cad. I don't even know if people use cad, but you get the point. <laughs> where this was obviously a thing that could have been done. It would have helped this other person out a little bit, but they literally had no reason to do this thing. They had no obligation, no responsibility. They didn't even know this other person, but yet they're getting bitched at by these people because they didn't do a minor courtesy for someone they didn't even know. And that, to me, is the height of ridiculousness. Like, oh no, I dropped something and that other person didn't run over to help me pick something up. He didn't know that for me. He didn't have to do shit. That was my paper. I dropped it. If he picks it up and helps me out, great. That's wonderful. He helped me out. I'm appreciative. If he doesn't, okay. Who cares? He didn't know me. Fuck. A lot of people let themselves get pushed into these sorts of things where the social expectations make them get go out of their way for people or to do things or to take care of things. And they don't have the obligation, really. They don't have the responsibility. They don't even want to but they feel like they have to because people are giving them that expecting look. Well, aren't you going to get the door for her? Well, no, actually, I'm not. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sometimes that's okay. I'm not saying be a dick. Don't take this to be a dick. What I'm saying is don't let yourself get pushed into doing things for people because it's expected or because people act like, well, you're there, so you might as well. Don't let circumstance make you do things that you don't want to do, especially when it comes to little things. It's a minor point, perhaps, and you could just ignore it, but I feel like part of this is addressed at the people who do this, where, well, I dropped my purse and that other random person didn't come over there and pick it up for me. Well, no, no, they didn't, and why should they have, really? Like, if you're expecting it, then you're kind of an asshole. Just something to think about.